Right. We work in this business, 400 people hired uh, with right. great hopes. Uh, and, and that's what happens when you get management that maybe didn't have the right outlook as far as what uh, the demand was right. for more CNN. Yeah, and maybe they didn't market it the right way. I, I've heard other people talking about, you know, they did, weren't offering any part of it free right. to try to even hook people on it. Um, Which makes sense. Right, yeah. That you would do that. Joining us now to discuss uh, our, our panel today, Chrissy Clark. Uh, reporter for The Daily Caller and host of Tony Katz Today and Eat, Drink, Smoke, Tony Katz and Simon Conway, also a talk show host. Simon, we'll start with you today. Your take on what happened with CNN Plus closed after a month. What, what did they think was going to happen? I mean, that's really the bigger question, isn't it? Uh, they can't get an audience on their cable channel. Why did they think people were actually going to pay for that the only real audience they have is in airports because it's rammed down our throats, right? Yeah, I, I mean, Tony, <laughs> that's true, uh, you know, in, in the uh, airports. Um, Tony, your thoughts? Well, there is a conversation about don't ever believe your own hype. Mm. That's always a recipe for complete and total disaster. But there's a really interesting uh, conversation for all of us who create content. All of us here, Chrissy and Simon and myself, you guys, we create content. If content is being offered up one way, in a way that's very, very consumable and, and low cost, what makes you think you can create content that will be so much more different that people will actually pay for it? There has to be a uniqueness there. And what CNN showed is that there is no uniqueness to the brand. There is no uniqueness to what it is they provide. And therefore, there was no reason for anybody to go. At the last count, I think the numbers were 150,000 subscribers, and only 10,000 of those were active users. That's less than 10% were active users of CNN Plus, and Netflix lost more subscribers than CNN had in Toto. Those are crazy, crazy numbers. Yeah, and Chrissy, the change in management, obviously the new management is like, we're not gonna waste our time on this. It's clearly not working. Uh, so what went wrong along the way? Well, Jeff Zucker was the you know, the brain behind CNN Plus. So this was his yet another parting gift to the CNN staff there, and it's absolutely toppled them. I think what this comes down to, though, is the media echo chamber that the people at CNN and just anybody in the Acela Corridor lives in. They really do think that everybody loves to consume this, you know, mainstream form of media, when in actuality, you know, I'm a 25 year old with a cell phone and I have more subscribers and viewers on average on a TikTok page that are on politics than CNN has, and they're a major media brand entity. And that's because the culture is moving away from CNN and a lot of some of these mainstream outlets going to alternative sources to find their news. And CNN Plus is no longer something that the average American is looking for. Hmm. But let's switch gears for a moment and talk yeah. about this, uh, because British journalist Pierce Morgan making headlines this afternoon for an interview uh, with former President Donald Trump, an interview which Morgan would have everyone believe is explosive. Take a look. A former president in denial. I'll be completely straight with you. I think I'm a very honest man, much more honest than you, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, they're they're promoting it. Uh, uh, that's yeah, what they're yeah. doing. But is that really what happened? <laughs> Are they misrepresenting that? Uh, did the former president really storm off? Take a listen to the audio provided by Trump's communication director. That was a great interview. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ah, Simon? Oh, Piers Morgan has got a bit of uh, history here, right? Yeah. So it's no surprise to me whatsoever that he's trying to promote this as, uh, hey, I tamed the tiger or something. I'm not really sure what uh, the way the uh, uh, that promo was done, the, the close-ups and everything else is it, just so him. And it really is, look, Trump is this, I don't know, crazy man and I got him to sit down and I got him to tell us the truth and we had a fight and he used to be my buddy. Yeah. I, I, it, it's that's why that's the sell. So well, you're supposed yeah. to buy that yeah. and then sit down and watch it. And right. I don't know, I, and, as I say. And Tony to history. me Tony to me that's uh, that's the recipe. I mean we won't know what really happened until they actually air it. Right. I but I question whether or not we actually care about what happened. 
President Trump's not a fool. He knows going into an interview with Piers Morgan is going to be tabloid disaster. And Piers Morgan isn't a fool. He knows that an interview with Donald Trump is gold. And of the two of them, the only guy who ever stormed off a show is Piers Morgan on Good Morning Britain. Uh, so we shouldn't pay too much attention to this at all. Let's maybe get on with our lives and bigger and more important things. Yeah, I get a little sheepish when it comes to walking off. So uh, I'll end the conversation there. Uh, <laughs> Tony, Simon, Chrissy, uh, we'll take a break. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.